we are looking at this Zeus Dry Relay Contact. I saw this product before and I was never sure what it does because of the dry relay thing. I mean, what is dry? Is it, is it dry versus wet? So on a whim, I got it because it was uh, on sale. Basically, it works like a remote relay, just like any other remote relay. Here is my Shelly 1PM for reference. You can see that they are pretty much identical in size. I have the uh, Zigbee review earlier and I don't have one with me at the moment, but they are basically identical. The only reason, the only reason why this thing is a little bit chunkier is that the wires are already soldered in versus the Zigbee and the um, Shelly. You don't see any wires. All of them are labeled. You got your signal, your out, your in, your load, and your neutral. Here is the instruction. It is very well laid out for you to see. Connect your contacts accordingly with the yellow and the blacks. Go into a blacks. For whatever reason, the blue goes into the black as well, but it's not connected internally. You have to connect it via the, uh, the uh, connector. All of the neutral go into the neutral. The low, the black lines go into the, all the black lines, including the blue. Your S1, which is the signal or the switch, sorry, switch goes into the switch. The other end of the switch goes into the black. Your lights only have two wires coming out. The black goes in with the out, the red, and the white of the lamp goes into the white, with which, which is all the other neutrals. So let's look at it in reality. This is what it looks like. You got all of your blacks going into with all of your other blacks here. This Wago has all of the black connections as well as the one of the blue. Well, it's only one blue, which is the in that I mentioned earlier. If only it was already soldered internally. The black, or in this case, I'm using an LED light which will be installed in a closet. So that way, when I open the closet door, this will automatically just turn on the light magically. On this LED, you have the brown and blue. So the brown will be going into the red, which is the out. The blue of the LED will be the neutral, so every so all of the whites go into this Wago nut right here. This S is for the switch. Since there's no switch at the door, this is just empty. You can just leave it blank. I'm gonna cap it off and you should too. This yellow is from the uh, core which is for ground, but there's no ground in the relay nor the LED. For demonstration purposes, for testing purposes, this is cut like so, but for your house, most likely you won't have such contraption like that. You'll be hardwiring it directly to whatever wall boxes you have already. So go ahead and uh, put your home assistant into adding mode, add device mode via Z-Wave. When it is in pairing mode, go ahead and flip the power breaker to provide power to this, or in my case, just plug this into the wall. Once this has power, the LED green lights will be blinking here. 
So go ahead and put your Home, home Assistant in uh, pairing mode and tap on this button three times really, really quick. If you didn't do it really, really quick, then the light will turn on or turn off, whichever case. If you did do it properly, then pressing this three times will not turn on the light or turn off the light. I didn't do it really quick the first time, and that's why this light automatically turned on, which is not good. And I thought this thing was defective. I had to do it many, many times, and you have to do it super quick, as I mentioned, pressing it, one, two, three, like that, super fast. Once the Home Assistant sees the device, all you get is just one entity for it that is on or off, as seen here. This does not do any dimming, so don't even try to try to dim your lights. In my house, we are slowly switching from Zigbee to Z-Wave. Right now, it's a bit of, bit of mix of both, but I'm trying to get away from Zigbee because for whatever reason, I live in the uh, city and there are many Wi-Fi signals around. So most likely that's interfering with my Zigbee devices. So far, I'm having a lot of luck with Z-Wave or Shelly. With Zigbee, you get a lot of interference, so you have to be super careful with that. And I'm not having any luck because it seems once a month, my Zigbee device would mysteriously vanish off and I have to repair it again. I think this is such a great deal. So for about 20 bucks, you can basically convert any dumb switch to smart switch and everything will be controlled via automation. Hope you found this review helpful. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.